Hello everyone, this is Nipun Bhatia, welcomes you to Target Publication. Now, as you all know, there is change in our 10th standard syllabus and Bal Bharti test book and many notes are already out in the market. Now, you all might be confused that which notes to buy or which not to buy. Abhi kya hota hai, jabhi hum log online purchase karte hai or when we go to our bookstores, we see the books superficially and we are not able to decide whether to buy which book or which not to. So today we are going to review our target publication notes. So we are going to tell you in detail that what is the USP of target notes and why it is worth buying. So let us start with science and technology and then we are going to shift to mathematics. So this session will be covering science and technology and mathematics. Now starting with science and technology. Now, in science and technology, we have two books that is our science and technology part one and science and technology part two. So, these two books are for science where part one includes our physics and chemistry part and part two includes our biology and EVS. Now, let us talk about the USP of the book. Now, the first USP of the book is that we have covered all types of questions which are there in our syllabus. That is in all in science and technology part 1 and part 2, we have covered total of 31 types of questions. So, let us have a look on these types of questions. Fill in the blanks. Find the odd one out. Find out the correlation. Find out the difference between two components. Make pairs right or wrong, give names or molecular formula, solve numerical problems for two marks, write notes, write chemical reactions along with the equations, complete the flowchart, clarify the difference, write properties or characteristics or advantages or effects, give scientific reasons, give examples, give explanation using the given statements, suggest remedies or measures, explanation of diagrams, Complete the table or chart. Explain with the help of examples. Solve numerical problems for 3 marks. Complete the diagram. Answer questions based on figures. Write answers with explanations. Write laws, theory and explain. Complete the paragraph. Draw a figure and give explanation. Answer the questions in detail. Read the given paragraph and answer question based on it. Complete the given incomplete table or chart and give explanation. Make a concept diagram based on some components and give explanation. So these were the types of questions which is included in our notes. Now moving ahead of this, the second USP of our book is our QR codes. Now what do you understand by QR codes? We have provided QR codes under the sections where it is required. Now what exactly these QR code contains is, if you are going to refer your Bal Bharti test book, you can see that Bal Bharti has included many activities, try this and project in the syllabus. Now why these activities are included? These activities are included to build your concept in a particular subject. Now, such activities or projects are not exactly taught in the class because it doesn't contain any marks in your board exam. But if you are going to think on it, it is very important for our conceptual development. So what exactly we have done is, we have covered the entire activity, try this and project in our notes in the form of QR codes or in the form of video lectures. So if you are going to scan the QR code, what you are going to get is, you are going to get video lecture depending upon that activity try this or the project so let us have a look how exactly you have you can access it now if i'm going to see if i'm taking a chapter that is heat in heat i have a topic that is regulation below that topic under that section we have given a qr code now if you are going to scan this qr code this QR code ko scan kia. Now directly after scanning this QR code, the video will appear. Now the video will start playing. So let us have a look. So you can see now I'm going to place it on the ice slab. So I'm applying equal amount of pressure from both the sides. Now, as you have seen, like this manner, we have provided QR codes under the sections where it is required. This is a very useful thing which is included in our notes. Now, after QR codes, the second thing which we have included is memory map. Now, what exactly this memory map is? 
after each and every chapter you are going to get such type of memory map so this is a sample memory map of the chapter named as lens abhi is memory map mein kya hoga the concept of entire chapter is clubbed together or as i can say this is a short summary of the entire chapter so you can see you have a main topic that is lens under which it is classified into different type many formulas are included or as i can say the basic statements one one line statements of for each and every section is included in this memory map so this memory map is very useful for your last minute revision so such type of memory maps are included after each and every chapter and it is covered in all of the chapters now after memory map the next usp of our book is chapter assessment now where usually we lag is we read the entire chapter or we learn the entire chapter but we fail to answer questions asked on it because question are asked in different different framings so what we have done is we have included a section named as chapter assessment after each and every chapter in chapter assessment we have given you a question paper of 25 marks depending upon that individual chapter now let us see the sample so this is the sample copy of a chapter assessment in which all the types of questions will be covered for 25 marks like you will get fill in the blanks you will get odd man out you will get answer the following you will get give reasons you will get flow chart so at the end of the chapter you are getting a 25 marks test which is preparing you for your exams now after chapter assessment what we have is model question paper now you have solved paper depending upon the single chapter but you have to solve a paper depending upon the entire syllabus so at the end of the notes we have included one model question paper one in science and technology part 1 and one in science and technology part 2 now this model test paper is going to include questions from each and every chapter so in short this is your entire question paper now this is a sample of your model question paper where you are going to get a clubbing of if i'm going to talk about science and technology part 1 you are going to get a club of physics and chemistry matlab kabhi ek question physics ka hai ek chemistry ka hai like you are asked in your exams so this is the next usp of our book now if you are going to see these all things are very essential for our growth and our conceptual learning so these all things are included in our science and technology now after science and technology let us move to mathematics now in mathematics if i'm going to see the book that our notes include that is mathematics part 1 and mathematics part 2 so these are the two books for mathematics now if i'm going to see the section which is covered in our mathematics part 1 and mathematics part 2 now in all in our mathematics book if you are going to see we have covered 12 sections in our mathematics part 1 and mathematics part 2 now let us go through these sections let's recall let's study try this remember this something more practice set problem set multiple choice questions additional problem for practice apply your knowledge chapter assessment important formulas So these were the sections which are included in our mathematics notes. Now let us see the USP of mathematics books. The first USP of mathematics books is your chapter assessment. As we have discussed in our science and technology, in the same manner we have included chapter assessment after each and every chapter also in mathematics. So this chapter assessment is going to help you to test your knowledge and is going to prepare you for your further exams. Now if I'm going to see the sample. copy of chapter assessment this is the sample copy of chapter assessment in mathematics where each and every section is covered now after chapter assessment the next type of question is challenging question now what exactly is challenging question now challenging questions are the questions which are not your textual questions but these are the questions which are related to the concept of the textual question matlab question bahar ke hain lekin textbook ke concept se hi related hai matlab tum log ka knowledge aur zyada enhance hota hai because you start thinking on it so this can be termed as higher order thinking now if i am going to see the sample of this looking at the sample you can see this these are the graphical types of questions and many other types of questions are included in this so this is the type of question which normally is included for four marks 
सो वी हैव इंक्लूडेड चैलेंजिंग क्वेश्चन फॉर फोर मार्क्स जहां पे क्या होगा टेक्स बुक के अलावा भी आपको अलग से क्वेश्चन पूछा जाएगा जो टेक्स बुक के क्वेश्चन के कंसेप्ट के ऊपर होगा सो दिस इज एक्चुअली टेस्टिंग योर नॉलेज ना आफ्टर चैलेंजिंग क्वेश्चन द नेक्स्ट टाइप इज वन मार्क एंड टू मार्क क्वेश्चन विच इज based on your ninth standard syllabus now according to our revised syllabus we are going to get 20% weightage for our ninth standard so depending upon that we are going to get one mark and two mark questions related to our ninth standard so what we have done is we have created another section for this thing so if i'm going to go through the sample thing we have included one mark question and we have included two marks question as you can see it is segregated chapter wise matlab har ek chapter mein one mark two mark one mark two mark alag se segregate kar diya hai so additional jo 20% marks hai that is going to be covered in this section now after this if you are going to see the last usp is model question paper model question paper again at the end of the book you are going to get one paper which will be dependent upon the entire syllabus where you are going to test your knowledge depending upon the entire syllabus of mathematics part 1 and mathematics part 2 so this was all about the notes of target publication of science and technology and mathematics now after viewing this you might have understood that target books are worth buying because we have included so many sections we have included video lectures for your benefit and that is exactly free of cost you simply have to scan the qr code and you can access those videos so rush to your nearest bookstore and grab your copy of target notes you can also buy our notes online by going to our website that is www.targetpublications.org if you have any query regarding our notes or regarding our notes of different standards you can call us on this number which is being displayed on your screen so this is nipun bhatia signing off thank you